Hey everyone, it's MIB here, and although I am 7,000 miles from Japan, I am still shopping all of their greatest websites from the comfort of my computer, thanks to Baiyi.jp. I'm just taking a look at some of my recent purchases that have arrived in the Baiyi warehouse. These are items I've won off of Yahoo Auctions or bought from other sites. Items like this really cool book on Toy Card 100s. I collect these cards, so I'm really excited to see this book that's going to have all the information and photos on them. I got this really cool vintage Zone Fighter tin. You're just not going to find something like this on eBay. Also, I got this set of Daisy Hill puppy toys. This is Snoopy and his brothers and sister. It, it, it's not all Godzilla. You know, you know I like other things, right? What I'm going to do now is select all of my items that are in the Bayi warehouse and apply for package consolidation. This is where Bayi is going to take all of these things that came in separately and put them in one box together to ship to my house. I love that I'm able to manage all of these items from the comfort of my own home. And you can shop Bayi.jp as well by using the link below. And if you make a new account, you'll get 2,000 yen to spend any way you want. But remember, this is for Monster Island Buddies fans, so use the link in the description below. Playtime! Yay! Last year, we looked at the various cross-promotions between Taco Bell and the 1998 Godzilla movie distributed by TriStar Pictures. But this particular promotion wasn't happening worldwide. In fact, in areas like Australia and the UK, it was KFC that did a cross-promotion with the Godzilla movie. Looks like we'll need more chips. See the movie, then visit KFC. Yes, sir, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I declare. Hand breaded, freshly prepared, and finger licking good. Carefully rolled seven times in our secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. Now, I'm just a simple kaiju fan who's never been to Kentucky. But I reckon most y'all residents of Australia and the UK haven't either, I declare. The Godzilla Monster Meal was a combo special offered by KFC for just $4.95. And if you got a kid's meal, you got an action toy. Stomp on into KFC and get an action toy with every kid's meal. Just like in the American toy set, you'll see that there's a big focus on military vehicles. I'll open these off camera as not to torture the prestige collectors out there. They all have this photocopied slip that showed you all the toys. They couldn't even spring for color, huh? This piece of paper feels seriously cheap. Here's a bit of a mystery I stumbled upon, and I could use your help. As I said, I have this black and white slip that features four toys. Online, I found some pictures of a color version of the slip with a fifth toy. This Godzilla stamper here. I know these sets were available in a lot of places around the world. So if you remember these toys, please comment below and let me know if you remember the stamper and where you are in the world. For now, let's see what we have. Are you kidding me? Is this another helicopter toy? The Godzilla 1998 Taco Bell set has a helicopter that launches off a building, and so did the 1999 Godzilla the Series set from Hardy's and Carl's Jr. It's amazing to me that all three sets have helicopter toys that are completely different from each other. They all even launch differently. So this one is a busted brown building and a green helicopter with a pink propeller. Unlike the other two helicopters, this one's got some guns. Also, unlike the other two helicopter toys, there's no Godzilla on this building. His only presence here is implied with this building being all crushed on the side. What is this, a corkscrew? Looks like mine got a little bent at some point in time, so we'll have to be careful. So I guess this goes up the bottom of the building here. And now you have the pull key going up the building, which means you pull it from the bottom. The helicopter even goes on top and spins down to the base. And from some light pulling, you get the idea how this is going to work. Fly! This is my least favorite pull tab mechanism of the three helicopter premiums. Fly! You can't put the toy down with the pull key in it. Fly! I mean, look at this. Without the pull key, the helicopter isn't even secure on top.
All right, now we're talking. Here comes the rocket launcher. This piece comes in two parts that disconnect and reconnect. It's got some wheels on the bottom. And this button here launches the missile. And this button here launches the missile. Um, like I said, this button launches the missile. Looks like this thing doesn't have much spring action. This toy also comes with these three pieces of cardboard that connect like a puzzle, and it reveals a picture of Godzilla himself. And there's even a way to make him stand up. The point is to destroy the Godzilla with the missile, but... Let's just do it manually. Godzilla didn't even break apart. Do any of these toys work? Next up, we have a tank, and you can turn it to aim it here, and like the missile launcher, you can remove the top part, and that's it. That's it for the tank. This toy comes with nothing else, and it doesn't do anything. When you look at it up close, there's not even any Godzilla battle damage on it. It's just a normal old tank. At least the Taco Bell tank said Godzilla Force on it. And it had some damage, and it did something! It's amazing how similar the scale is on these, though. Like, they belong in the same playset. I like these two toys, I do. I just can't believe how boring the tank is. It's pretty useless. Just like my missile launcher, unless I can get it to- The last toy in the set is the best toy, hands down! It starts with this Godzilla figure here. It's really nice. Got a real Gashapon vibe to it. Actually really like this toy, and if this toy was all you got, I think I'd be pretty satisfied as a kid, but there's more. You get this piece of thin cardboard with a print on it showing a bird's eye view of New York City. And it's got some Godzilla footprints on it there. Uh, that's cool. I guess it's like a little environment you can walk on. Nope, there's more. You also get the big white mold that you can use to create buildings. Buildings of various shapes and sizes. Now that is a cool idea. When this was packaged, it came with some black Play-Doh, but of course now it's hard as a rock. Good thing I got my own! Oh, squishy, squishy Play-Doh. Feels so nice. So we'll get some Play-Doh in this mold here and give it a good squish and a squash. And now we have some buildings, sorta. I mean, it did the job. And funny thing is, if your Play-Doh has cracks or whatever, it actually makes the buildings look better. But all in all, this was a very good idea. It's amazing how comprehensive this toy is, and yet the tank is just a boring, lonely tank. Roar! Roar! Take that, Purple City! Roar! I made a snowman! So there's your set of four toy premiums, but KFC offered some other Godzilla goodies as well. Some higher quality ones, too. But before we get to that... All this talk about Godzilla toy premiums makes me wonder where all the King Kong premiums are. Well, I have some I'd like to show you real fast. These are some... Really nice Coca-Cola drinking glasses, featuring art from the 1976 remake, King Kong. Each glass features a different scene from the film, like here he is fighting a snake. I just really like these. But what restaurant offered these glasses? You tell me! Actually, the restaurant is now defunct, and if you're on the younger side, there's a chance you may have never heard of it. But take a guess, is it A, Burger Chef? B, Beefsteak Charlie's, C, Puppin Taco, or D, Showbiz Pizza Place. We'll return with the answer after this brief message. And we're back! Let's see if you were able to guess which defunct restaurant offered these awesome King Kong glasses. You'd be correct if you said Burger Chef. King Kong glasses. Get all four for your kids. <laughs> you want a straw? You get one, you like that burger shell. Getting back to our KFC topic, along with the toy premiums, for $4.95 you can get a Roaring Godzilla puppet head. One for Godzilla and one for one of his 8 million kids. These are decent sculpts and I like the paint jobs too. At the worst, these make cool busts. They have little mechanisms in their mouths that you can press to make the monsters roar. My Godzilla head is missing the mechanism entirely, and my Junior head's mechanism just doesn't work. But you can see here the plug that holds it in place, and in Godzilla's mouth is the hole it goes through. 
What I don't like about these is the material. It's very hard plastic. It kinda hurts to get my hand in there because there's virtually no elasticity in these. Even making the mouths open and close isn't simple. It's taking a lot of palm strength to get the mouths to talk. By contrast, I want to quickly show you a similar Godzilla puppet released here in the States by a company called Resaurus. These puppets have some great flexibility. They're much softer and more comfortable to use. Roar! Roar! <coughs> <coughs> Roar! And that's the KFC Godzilla 1998 collection. In my video on the animated toy series from Hardee's, I said there was only one more Godzilla toy premium set to go over. Well, I was wrong. After this video, there's still one more set to go over. And that's just for now. And I'm a fixin' to do that video real soon if the creek don't rise. As you can imagine, I've been as busy as a cat on a hot tin roof, but I'll get to it soon, show sure enough. In the meantime, I'm about to devour this here bucket of tax-deductible Kentucky Fried Chicken. I decline.